So welcome to this little video here because I got asked in the comment section show me the Harmony OS 3.0 on your Mate 50 Pro and the gallery and all the changes and options that you have here when editing photos. So I thought okay I will do it. So first of all what I noticed is that when you want to remove certain people for example we have the option like you can see here some people running around and if they're distracting for you or something like this you can just go and hit the edit button and then you can go and you can say under more uh, remove and uh, we zoom in a little bit on those two people here that we want to remove and then we mark those two people here roughly and you can see bang they're gone so now when i zoom out it looks like a clean space of course if i zoom in a little bit and know exactly where those people are you can see of course it's not working perfectly as you can see the people that were behind there are now disappearing as well so what i could do is try to make this people disappear as well and this people disappear as well and here disappear as well and maybe this one who's sitting there as well. Can I get his shadow away? There we go. So you can see now it looks even more clean because I can remove more people. Of course, if I zoom in too much, oops, now I did something wrong. I wanted to remove the whole building. As you can see, you can also remove the whole building and can undo it as well. Uh, yeah, if you zoom in too much, you can see that there is some things still going on but you can remove it as well and it's working quite nicely to remove pedestrians even like the small blobs here ah this one i think i cannot remove it's too small uh, but what about those two people here detected removed so you can see this is working fine and you get a nice pleasant image still i wouldn't want to print it out but for showing people around on the smartphone maybe even on a television where you don't zoom in so much we just have the picture at 100 percent this might work quite nicely so yeah this is the option to remove certain objects or people it detects them even very small ones as you can see a very very cool feature indeed then when i go to this photo wonderful photo of a little dog that was passing by i want to quickly take the shot and did not really take a look at that the sun was reflecting there uh, on to the river and this was directly going into the lens so very bad photo but can i rescue this photo even if i took it like years before yes i can go into edit i can go to demist and look how beautiful it looks like and i can even uh, compare with the previous one as you can see here it's like wonderful uh, I cannot zoom in sadly let's save it uh, save as new in this case and uh, let's zoom in you can see yeah it preserved all the little details on the little dog very very nicely and looks way better than this photo here where yeah everything is like blown out so very very cool indeed the demist filter option then we have another new option i think at least i didn't see it before if you go to edit we have now under smart options uh, adjust building and this will adjust to the yeah, problem that you may might have when you're photographing buildings usually the buildings are taller than you so you get like a little bit of like a distortion also from the lens and depending on if you're using the ultra wide angle even more and this tries to straighten up the the building to make it look more natural let's click on this and you can see yeah it's yeah making it slightly smaller you can see if i compare it here there's a distortion where we have like a bulb effect and now it's like straightening everything up uh, on this building you don't see so much this effect but on other buildings if you photograph them and you're standing directly next to the building uh, lines might be my might, might be yeah not straight they might be like uh yeah like like a little bit drunk uh and this will straighten them up very very nicely so also a very cool uh photo and option to edit stuff then what is very important for some people is the 
uh, reflection. Can I remove still reflections on Harmony OS 3.0? Sadly, this option is gone. At least I cannot find it here on my Mate 50 Pro. I tried it previously also on the P50 Pro running also the newest Harmony OS 3.0 option. But under Smart, where it should be, you can see we have straighten, we have retouch. I uh, can use straighten here to straighten it up. Um, so compare, this is how unstraightened it looks like. This is how straightened it looks like. But I don't have the option to remove the reflection. However, what I can do, and now bear with me because I'm showing you a little bit of uh, inception, is going on to my, on the previous version, the Mate 40 Pro. If I go to edit here, running Emotion i 12, the newest version, what I can do here under Smart, you can see remove reflection. I have it here still, and I can then remove the reflection. Is it really removed? Like, look at the comparison before. And sorry, before and after, yeah, it removes a little bit of reflections, but it's not very working very good. I could imagine that this might be a feature of the Kirin processors itself, or Huawei decided to remove it because it's not working so good as it was advertised back in the day. But it is still available on Immersion i12 on my Mate 40 Pro here. It's not available anymore on the made 50 pro that's everything for this short little video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and until the next time bye